This is storm meteorologist Eric Tolman. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Thursday evening, June the 11th, and the time right now is 9.40 p.m. this evening before we begin our uh, 10 o'clock uh, newscast that's just around the corner. Uh, we just want to give an update to everyone in Southeast Lower Michigan. We had a line of severe thunderstorms that were moving across the area. We're going to go ahead and show you uh, really quick uh, what what's going on here so you just have an idea so there's not really any type of concern. Uh, that uh, severe thunderstorm uh, that we had that came through Oakland County actually uh, actually fizzled out and it's no longer uh, at severe limits so the severe thunderstorm warning for Oakland County has been canceled so that's actually a relief right there we'll kind of keep you posted if there's going to be any more uh, severe uh, thunderstorms we are going to have that potential again for Friday indefinitely we're going to show you some other bits and pieces coming up in just a couple of minutes there's the line. Uh, we'll put it back into the mode so you can see exactly what happened about 45 minutes ago or so. Um, as that thing came rolling through, uh, you can see the uh, uh, thunderstorm was actually going, I'm going to say about 35, 40 miles an hour. So it actually came flying in here through uh, southeast Michigan and metro Detroit area quite quickly and it actually fizzled out by the time it got into uh, Oakland County so uh, the warning for Oakland County has been canceled that did not last very long but I think as of uh, Friday that is going to be a whole different scenario okay so now we're going to go ahead and talk about what's happening for tomorrow that's probably going to be more interesting than what we're dealing with right now um, so we're going to go ahead and bring up that information right now so we can tell you what's going on across the area and you guys are going to think wait a minute here uh why do we have all these thunderstorms and everything else i know it's kind of bright in the background but that's just uh because of the clouds and all that stuff so this is what we've got going on across the midwest it is quite interesting indeed uh severe weather threat is still possible for southeast lower michigan this is for tomorrow so indefinitely you want to stay tuned to me uh because we're going to have severe weather and strong and severe thunderstorms that will be approaching uh from the midwest we're going to go ahead and show you there if i can have my cursor here for just a minute we can show the viewers what's going on okay so uh the severe weather threat extends all the way from this part of southeast lower michigan into the ohio uh, border so areas that did not get hit with severe weather indefinitely this time you will but this covers all of um the metropolitan detroit area and our viewing area will show you that in all the counties in just a moment further back to the west we do have some strong and severe thunderstorms that are really uh packing a punch over in the Des Moines area right now, you guys over there have clusters of uh, severe strong thunderstorms over there. We have another batch of strong and severe thunderstorms over in that area. Uh, so our main focus is going to be on the severe weather that's growing in the Midwest. And I believe we might be seeing severe weather developing anytime during the overnight hours, especially during the day and early uh, early during the day tomorrow and throughout the day tomorrow we'll be seeing strong and severe thunderstorms so uh, unfortunately it's just that time of the year so uh, we'll have complete coverage on the severe weather but most definitely we will be on top of everything tomorrow especially on the severe weather and if we do get uh, local storm reports of damage that's been reported in your area uh, we want to hear about that as well, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, do a story on that one. Um, we'll do the very best at our capability of trying to do a story, but we would like you to comment below on our YouTube page as well as the Twitter page, and we'll give you all that information and info, how you can keep in contact with me. Um, and if there is actually damage in your area, we want to hear about that. And then we would also...
also like to hear a little bit of the story about what happened during the storm and um, uh, you, what you saw. Um, it doesn't matter if it's down power lines, trees, and all that hail. We want to hear the whole story of what happened in your Metro Detroit area. That includes Macomb, Oakland, etc. In all of Southeast Lower Michigan, we want to hear your part of the story about what your severe weather event was like. So, uh, we're starting to add some new things to our videos. Uh, we're trying to explain it in the YouTube uh, section, but I don't really think clearly that the viewers get the idea of what we're doing now. We're adding new added features to our videos now, so there's going to be more prompted information. The new thing that we're doing now also is giving you more advanced warning information uh, as quickly as we can get it. So as soon as we know that there's going to be severe thunderstorm warnings, severe weather watches, severe thunderstorm watches, and severe uh, warnings and tornado watches and tornado warnings we are going to be on top of it and as quickly as we get it as soon as we get it uh we are going to promptly interrupt programming let you know asap that there's a tornado warning a severe thunderstorm warning so then that way you can get to your sheltered area as quickly as possible we're trying to make the communication a lot more simpler and faster for you so if you are under a warning and does go through your phone, make sure that you're taking cover. So that's going to be another part of our story that we're going to talk about uh, coming up at 10.30 tonight. We'll talk more about uh, what you need to prepare for for Friday coming up. Stay tuned. We're going to continue to track those storms. This is uh, Warning Coordination Meteorologist Derek Tolman. I've got more just ahead at 10.30 tonight. We'll see you then. Bye.